The anticipation is already building outside of the high school. And that's where Angela Kelly is. She joins us now live with the latest. Good morning, Angela. Hey, good morning, everybody. Well, it is very busy here on Packerland Drive in front of Southwest High School. You can see this entire line of cars waiting to get into the parking lot. Now, a lot of these cars are filled with students who are here for their last day of classes. Happens to be the same day that the president is talking. And uh, what the holdup is, is security is checking each and every car individually. Uh, Opening trunks, hoods, looking underneath cars just to make sure everything's safe for the president's arrival. Not a lot of people here with tickets to the event, however, just a few people lined up on the north end of the building, including 13 year old Colton Giese from Okana Falls. He is first in line with his mom and he jumped out of line to talk with us. Good morning. Good morning. Can we see your ticket? Uh, here it is. <laughs> How did you get it? Um, my uncle works for FedEx, and he was he was at the uh, copying place, and he just happened to be talking, chit-chatting with someone, and he didn't know that the guy was like secret service agent or something to do with that. And the guy, he happened to mention that he wanted to go, his sister wanted to go see that thing, which is my mom, and the guy took him outside, opened up his briefcase, and get, gave him two tickets and Whoa. said, guard him with your life. <laughs> said, guard him with your life. It's unbelievable. So, okay, as a 13-year-old, what are you hoping to hear from President Barack Obama? Oh, uh, I hope to hear that he, he says, he, like, mentions health care somewhere because something good about it because we really need to uh, get it going a lot better. I know my sisters are sick a lot and the health health care is just skyrocketing the prices and I know that they're getting rich and we're just getting poor and it's not good. Do you know that a, a lot of 13 year olds, a lot of a lot of kids your age don't think about that kind of stuff. You seem very articulate, Colton. Yeah, yeah, I, I like stuff like this. Yeah. <laughs> if you could have the opportunity to ask the president a question today, what would it be? Uh, it'd have to be something about health care. Um, just ask him, is there anything he's going to do or could do or would do just to help us because we need, we need help. And being first in line, I'm guessing you're going to make a beeline for a front seat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be going fast. Thank you for talking with us this morning. Uh, Pete and Rachel, I had asked Colton if he had ever seen Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory and saying, because I got a golden ticket <laughs> when he got the ticket. And he said, yeah, pretty much. Okay. He was very excited. So uh, we're going to be out here live all morning, uh, hoping to see that line grow. Um, shuttle buses from NWTC bringing people who have tickets to the event are expected to come in a little after 730. So there'll probably be more people then. Okay. All right. Thanks, Angela. You're thanks welcome. Well, some local students have already heard from the president about six months ago.